This mod review is brought to you by the Farmer Klein YouTube channel. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Hey guys, it is my pleasure to bring to you today the JM 680 Gravity Wagon from JHHG Modding. Now, this mod was originally uploaded and intended for Giant's Mod Hub release, but uh, the mod author seems to have basically, I guess, given up and gotten frustrated with Giant's mod testing. Uh, he puts in his Facebook comment that uh, the Giants would not approve his gravity wagon for three reasons. One, he says you can't tip it. Well, we're going we're gonna to test that out here in a little bit. Two, the German translation in the mod desk was wrong. And, uh, well, the mod author just says, well... Use Google Translator because, well, he doesn't speak German, so he could use the only tool that he had available to him. And then, secondly, uh, the in game icon uh, supposedly is wrong, but uh, he states that it's basically using the same configuration as other icons that Giants uses on their own mods. So, what are you going to do? Well, he's taking this mod to Facebook, get it out there, and he says he might. You might try resubmitting at some point the mod hub for possible console considerations, but for now we're going to be able to use it here on PC. Download this over at Facebook, and there will be a link in the description below. Let's go ahead and take a look at this thing in the shop. So if we go to tools and then trailers, scroll on over here to the JNM 680. $18,750 for a 23,962 liter capacity. That should come out to just approximately 680 bushel. That's what the 680 represents in the model. Let's take a look and see. Other trailers in that uh, general size range is going to be right here around in the Agriliner HKD302. And the Joskin Transpace 8000, 31,000 liters, $35,000. This is significantly cheaper. Of course, it is designed to haul grain around. It is not really designed to do too much more than that. But it will accept all of the standard build types that are in the base game. Let's go ahead and take a look here at the configuration options. So here we have the base 680 gravity wagon. So in here we can change the color of the rims from original phantom to faded white. Change the main color from green, red, or blue. Got one of each of these in the thumbnail. And then we can change the design color from gray, black, white, red. I'll show you what the design color is here in a moment. So, as far as painting goes, or the other options, we have old decals or new. We have the farm safety triangle on the back. We either have none, one on the bottom, one on the top. You can have a cover of no cover. You can have cover supports, but still no cover. Or we can have a tarp cover. Now, the tarp cover is what the design color is. Change the tarp color to whatever we want. There we go. And then we have wheel setup. We could have standard, standard wheels or wide tires. Or we could go with twin wheel options. Kind of like the rim options on the twin wheels. Self. Let's just get this one. Wide tires. I actually haven't gotten a wide tire variant. See a pin hitch here on the back. I'm going to actually get a pair of these and just see if maybe connect these two together and road train them. Let's go ahead and this up. This is a dolly style trailer. 
So if you're not one to uh, to be able to use dolly style trailers, well then this probably isn't going to be your mod of choice. Base works. Oh. I was hoping to cheat a little bit to make the bursting here a little bit faster. We'll muddle through this. I'll take but a moment. Wow, this must really... Either that doesn't work, or it is really, really sensitive to uh, wind up. I'm going to go with it doesn't work. Should you guys discover otherwise, let me know in the comments. Let's see, look. Oh, wait. Duh. I'm hiding the HUD. Can indeed chain these things together. Wrong. See? Go ahead and I'll go back to the front. Open the cover. Cover animation. Still don't know why we've got we've got smooth animations on things you know things unfold nice and smooth but we can't seem to have covers full unfold smoothly what's up with that I want to check and make sure we didn't have a cover option on that let's jump up here because I happen to have a happen to have one already set up full of wheat. Let's go ahead and check. We don't have reverse lights, but we do have brake lights. Four ways, left and right. Flashers. Go over here. Let's check some. I don't know why that is flashing in the F1 menu. No errors. Blog. And I don't know why that's flashing. Up here we get... We're overloading. Let's fold that up and take a closer look at these animations. We've got the middle brackets kind of holding that up. If we hit I, release, wheel opens the uh, draw up, draw gate, draw door, slowly unload. This isn't going to win any sort of unloading speed championships because it is just a gravity wagon. Things just unload as they would naturally with the uh, force of gravity. It'll take a little bit of time to unload this. Turn on the lights. We do have a nice light there at the unloading gate. Pretty cool. So if you're doing this at night, you'll be able to see what's going on. So while that's unloading, let's go ahead and close up this video. So guys, let me know in the comments, what do you think of the JNM 680 Gravity Wagon? Again, you can find this over at JHHG Modding's Facebook. And until next time, happy farming.